Good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the colorectal session two. Uh, today, I would like to invite Professor uh, Minhua Zhang uh, from China uh, to talk about the minimal invasive surgery for colorectal uh, minimal invasive surgery for colorectal surgery in China, evolution and perspectives. Uh, Professor, uh, all of you uh, will recognize him very, very well. Uh, I will just briefly introduce his career. He graduated, uh, oh, wait a moment, sorry. He graduated Shanghai, Shanghai Second Medical University in 1986. And then uh, after his graduation, he had a residency training at uh, Strasbourg University, France. After that, he returned to the China and had a uh, critical role in the development of minimal invasive surgery in China. And now he is the professor of surgery, chief of the Department of Surgery Eugene Hospital Shanghai. So he will, uh, today he will talk about the uh, topic, uh, the role of minimal invasive surgery for colorectal surgery in China, uh, evolution and perspectives. Uh, Professor uh, Minha Zhang, uh, please. Dear colleagues, uh, dear Korean laparoscopic and minimally invasive surgeons, friends, uh, because of uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So we are in the online meeting. So uh, I'm very pleased to participate uh, Korean Society of Endoscopic Laparoscopic Surgeons 2020's Congress, and also participate uh, with invitation by Professor Chang Hu King, invite me to join this uh, uh, Korean and the Chinese Society joint symposium. So. I'm very pleased to hear, to communicate with you online regarding the role of minimally invasive surgery uh, in colorectal cancer in China and evolution and the perspective. And for the, I will brief uh, introduce our society. Our society was when, was founded in 1995 from the branch of our surgical associations. In the beginning, only 11 to 13 board members, uh, because it's uh, just a starting uh, the study group, and uh, mainly are the hepatobiliary surgeons, because at that time, uh, laparoscopic cholecystectomy are the principal uh, procedure uh, performed in China. And we have started the training courses since 1996 uh, from our society. And we have a local and the National Laparoscopic Congress since 1995. At that time, you know, China is a underdeveloping country. So we need a lot of uh, uh, experts from the foreign country and the foreign area like uh, United States, Korea, Japan, France, uh, Hong Kong, Taiwan uh, expert to help us to develop the minimally invasive surgery. There is uh, uh, many pictures show you. This is a picture of our uh, training courses in 1992 with uh, Chu Xiang, one of Taiwan urologic surgeons in the United States and uh, our surgical department and the urologic surgical department. And uh, here you can see our uh, training courses in 1992 to 1993. We have eight tables. At that time, 32 peaks in the animal lab uh, for the laparoscopic surgery. So you can uh, see here the initial uh, device equipment. So this picture show uh, you our initial voice activity laparoscopic surgery uh, uh, equipment uh, with transmission by satellite in different cities in China. At that time, 
the satellite cost very high. Uh, I remember that time is five five thousand US dollar per hour, but now it's very easy to connect each of us. So uh, the new area at that time. So this picture is. Uh, show us a group photo of our first live surgery for the laparoscopic and endoscopic surgery in the city of west of China. This is our group photo. In China, mostly laparoscopic surgery from the west uh, south of China and the countryside to the big city and the small hospital spread to a uh, teaching hospital. So this is uh, the history of uh, our society. In 2016, we have our uh, World Congress. So in that, in that occasion, we write, wrote uh, uh, books in Chinese version and also English version regarding the history of uh, uh, Chinese society of laparoscopic surgeon society. So in these books, we describe the history and many pictures, many photos uh, show us at that time the difficult time, in the modest beginning time. And the recent 20 years, we have uh, popularized and the training courses all China. So it, in recent, especially recent 20 to 10 years, the fast growing volume of cases and the fast spread of minimally invasive technique in China especially young generations. So you can see here many animal lab, many training courses, live surgery, talent show, and also new technique, for example, 3D technique, and also hybrid of endoscopy and the laparoscopic surgery technique. <clears throat> this is our my first lap corrector surgery in China in 1993. So very modest beginning. So I will show you the initial video. So you can see here the video, the history, because it's uh, recorded by videotape. And uh, now it's uh, transcoded to uh, digital version. So you cannot see very clear, but it's uh, really our first laparoscopic sigmoidectomy at that time. And we determined the tumor by endoscope. You can see many uh, instrument and uh, stapling device offered by Médecins Sans Frontières organi international organizations uh, free of charge. So because of this, we did a lot of uh, uh, corrective surgery and hernia rep repair. So you cannot see very clear. And uh, this is a cut of uh, vessels, mesenteric vessels. We use uh, stapler. So you can see here we use uh, double stapling technique, the old version of uh, from auto suture. It's not uh, so clear because of the videotape parity, and also at that time it's uh, not so bad. Uh, but especially as uh, we are not so familiar with the laparoscopy technique, incomparable is now new technique, new technology. And this is uh, my first publication in Chinese, uh, two years after my first cases, only six cases. But initially, submission to the journal is very difficult. I always reject it because they don't know uh, how to do it because there is no instrument in China, no device in China, I told told them because our instrument offered by international organization free of charge is very difficult. <clears throat> this is my first publication and on-site life surgery. And also this is my first patient. At that time, she came to see me uh, four years ago at 80 years old. She had a uh, constipation. So I did uh, ileo rectal anastomosis, a shortcut, a bypass to solve his her problem of constipation. So this is our first uh, history of patients. And 
picture show you our animal lab, and then time we develop many uh, training courses uh, for different uh, gynecology, general surgery, and urologic surgeons. So you can see here the first introduce of uh, uh, harmonic scalpel uh, from Jin Jie in 1997. We bought first device in China. This is 98, 1998. I uh, did uh, with uh, Jin Jie company to do live surgery and a presentation for this uh, harmonic scalpel uh, device. And we, when we look at with uh, our modest beginning, and then we go to search for laparoscopy corrective surgery in China, Google or Baidu. So we can see here many results from our research. So this is the curve of keywords with laparoscopy corrective surgery, laparoscopy colon, laparoscopy rectum, so the number of uh, publication, number of uh, uh, research. And this is the number of cases growing the curve to higher. This is in Chinese uh, uh, publications. We uh, started in 1993 to 2003, 10 years. That this 10 years, the how, do, how to do it, especially from uh, small to medium size hospital and the west side, especially. I did a lot of uh, laparoscopic corrector surgery outside of Shanghai. Because at that time I was a very young, uh, young surgeon. I cannot really uh, perform laparoscopic corrective surgery in my hospital without help of my, my senior surgeons and uh, permission of the hospital. And uh, my first case is in 1993. And until 1999, there was publication for hand assisted and how to do it, and uh, many publications in Chinese. And, uh, then, with another 10 years, standardized with uh, this uh, technique, especially in colon and rectal cancer surgery, with uh, ISR, TME, prolapse, and also, also D3 dissection uh, technique. And then from 1999 to 1992, there is new, many new technology, for example, a single port technique and the TME technique. CME technique, D3 dissection, and the CME, for example. So I conclude that minimally invasive surgery technique in corrective surgery, uh, first of all, from approach, because approach is medial to lateral. It's mainly principal uh, technique using by most of surgeons. And also, we developed the caudal and also cephalo uh, medial hybrid approach to lateral approach and also single port technique for go blood crystectomy and also for colon and rectal cancer uh, surgery. And also notice TAMIS, TM, TATME, uh, several uh, technique uh, performing in different uh, uh, procedure. And also hybrid of laparoscopy and endoscopic technique, especially for benign big tumors and difficult to resect by endoscope. And also TME, CME, IASR. They are those techniques are standardized by uh, our procedure. And with recent 10 years, there are so many high resolution HD uh, camera, 4K, and the 3D, naked 3D. So, so many new device, new technology. This picture show you in 2012, we performed our first 3D laparoscope uh, in uh, rectal uh, resection, uh, take around uh, two hours. There's no fatigue of our eyes. So we feel very, very uh, good with this technique. And this is recent, we use 4K from Olympus. And also, in, this is a technique, very special, domestic made, naked 3D. So you can see my assistants use glass, but I don't use the glass. It's glass-free or naked 3D technique. My feeling is uh, the brightness is uh, quite good. 
and we can save. We, we have the same picture with 3D with glass, and we can have a, a save time around 10 to 20 percent. And the, the, the question is uh, 3D or 4K, but my opinion is we need the 3D uh, associated with 4K. So recently we have uh, uh, this uh, uh, device in Chinese market. And this is a Chinese made 3D plus 4K laparoscopy technique. We feel very good and the cost effectiveness is quite good, very competitive uh, with 3D technique. And uh, my colleague, friends, uh, Professor Chang Ho Hing, uh, invited me to attend this meeting. I'm very pleased. My colleagues, our, our Chinese colleagues, are very uh, pleased to uh, participate in this uh, Korean Society of Laparoscopic Surgeons. Uh, and uh, my old friend, Kim Sun Han, uh, a very uh, good friend since uh, many years, we met. Uh, uh, nearly uh, once or plus every year in different uh, uh, country, especially in China. Uh, this is in Romania, I think it's European Congress. Uh, so uh, we are very good friends. And also Professor Rewa, Professor Okuda, and uh, we met, uh, they helped us a lot in, in the training courses and several meetings, and uh, this is in China. Uh, so our development, evolution, especially need many helps from uh, experts from different countries. So we are very thanks to, to them. This is uh, from uh, Mielsen from United States, New York, also uh, help us a, lo a lot uh, in the uh, hybrid of endoscopic and laparoscopic surgery in the colorectal uh, tumor. And this is a very good summit, International Correct Research Summit, uh, Asia Pacific Anatomy League Symposium. This is an organization. We uh, had discussion every year or so every two years. Uh, it focus on one topic. Uh, this is topic of uh, anatomy uh, leak. So, so I think uh, uh, this kind of meeting or summit or symposium uh, help each other to develop the technique of this surgery. So since 10 years, I will introduce, uh, present our uh, key technique in 30 years development evolution. Level. This is uh, uh, prolapsing technique or evoting technique, the low rectal cancer. Uh, in the uh, 2004 to 2005, we developed this technique. This, this is old technique from our open surgery. So we dissect the rectum and the prolapse the rectum and the transect them with a stapler. Outside of abdomen, we can sh make sure the margin is uh, quite clear and uh, using double stapling technique. And also at that time, we pull out the specimen from anus and make a coral anal anastomosis without ileostomy. Uh, this is a very uh, good uh, technique to preserving the, the anus. And for special low rectal cancer surgery, and we had also ISR, uh, uh, inter-sphincter sphincter, uh, resection technique. Uh, this picture shows the anatomy of autonomic nerve. So we can see it's a very important uh, technique because in the initial cases, uh, we don't uh, realize the importance of how to preserve the nerves. With the high resolution of the camera, we can see it's very important to preserve nerve, even for the sexual uh, defecation and the urinary function. It's quite important to, uh, to reduce the syndrome of uh, uh, interosection rectum. So you can see here in different HD uh, camera, especially actually with uh, using uh, 4K and uh, 3D, we can see very clear the root of uh, uh, anatomy of uh, nerve. Uh, so we can quite easy to preserve this uh, nerve. 
So this is, we can see here, the nerve uh, in the surgery. And another technique, a single port, in 2006, around, around that, we developed many uh, single port surgery. So you can see the, the camera, the uh, rotated camera and the rotated uh, uh, curve instrument uh, to develop this technique. And this is one of the device for uh, the uh, single port uh, technique uh, using three or four, four ports. This is a single port for right hemicolectomy with CME technique. So in the easy cases, I think it's, uh, it's feasible uh, to do uh, this uh, CME technique. But still, uh, multiple pores much better than it's sure. So we should select the patients and uh, select the indication for uh, this uh, kind of technique, radiosection. So the difference, uh, CME is more comprehensive, include the remove of next vascular archive beyond the 10 centimeters margin. But the tree less bowel resection uh, compliance with 10 centimeter rule. So this is the difference. So we can see here the approach, approach the media to retro approach from the different space, a uh, uh, retro right colic, a uh, transparent colic space, and intermesentic space. So you can see here, we, this is a, a picture how to show you the major to lateral approach. And with uh, lymph node dissection, this is uh, approach. So this is a picture show you how to sclating the vessels, uh, make these three, uh, the lymph node dissection and a complete major lateral approach. It is SMV, uh, middle colon, so you can see here, different uh, surgical picture, uh, how to preserve uh, the uh, meso and uh, the dissection plan. So just to show you the dissection plan. So this is another technique approach. From the open surgery, you can see here, the lateral to major approach. It's easy to have the white hair very clear to show you with the traction. But laparoscopy technique is uh, standardization is a medial to lateral approach. So you can see here also the white hair, but it's not so clear, but we should uh, do this. Uh, this is a right hemicolectomy, uh, wrong surgical space, medial to lateral approach. And Professor Bill Hare, and the, he developed the, the TME technique, and also laparoscopy surgery can did uh, very uh, good this uh, uh, description, uh, the standard of uh, TME. Uh, so TME can significantly decrease in rectal cancer recurrence rate, but recently no revolutionary progress in colon cancer surgery. This is a German surgeon, uh, Hohenberg. He described in uh, the correct disease, his case regarding the mesocoric excision and the central ligation. This is CME uh, technique. So with uh, this technique, we can see how to preserve the uh, uh, mesocoric column and also uh, make a re uh, resection of lymph node. So he described this technique using this specimen with high ligation as vascular and preserve the, uh, the judgment of uh, meso uh, colic. And also uh, the specimen you can see here. This is our meso colic plan, how to judge is uh, complete or not uh, the technique. And uh, because from the European surgeons, the CME, and Japanese surgeons that is described these three dissections, there are some difference. Because CME can do in all cases, but always high tie of vessels, and they count the number of lymph nodes. These three, uh, for stage two and the three cases, and they resect the root of IMA, uh, preserved selectively according to the lymph node. 
So with the exercise and the training, we can know very clear and dissect very clear the, the plan. But for the beginner, it's not easy to find the, the right plan. Skeleton basal. So we try to change another approach uh, for the codal approach. Codal approach is uh, similar than uh, medial to lateral approach, but a different di uh, dissection. So we go to this approach. With this approach, we find a very good plan, virtual rectal space, and also we can have a very good uh, vessels, skeleting vessels. So now our feeling is uh, using this approach can perform in, uh, in most of uh, uh, colon cancer and much easier and safe. This is a picture show you the different uh, vessel anatomy. And the uh, lateral to major approach, right colleague, then. So we expose the right column like a tent with traction. So we, this is a pancre head of pancreas, duodenum. So we can see the SMV and the trunk, hindless trunk. And this is a rectal surgery for the cephalomedial approach. So we can see aorta and the IMA. We start not like traditional medial approach. We start with a hybrid lateral uh, cephalo to medial approach. And uh, with a dissection of two, five, three lymph nodes. And with uh, this technique, we can easily find the space, retro rectum, and also to preserve left collect artery, it's much easier. So I think hybrid is the best technique, not only one approach. So you can see here, you can preserve nerve and also make a dissection of link node. And then the vessels IMA is just here, easy to identify and very safe to clip and another very new trend, new approach from Enus. This is a TATME. So you can see different picture of TATME. Now it's very hot in China. So Professor Bonjo from Holland, he, uh, I met him in the Korean society meeting. He asked me to Chinese colleagues to join his scholar three uh, study, uh, China, clinical trial in China. So we find a different uh, center to participate his uh, his uh, core three in China. So you in few times we uh, I did many many cases in China, and uh, recently we had uh, uh, many clinical trial in different new technique. For example, approach. For example, lymph node dissection. For example, for different anastoma uh, technique procedure and the TATME etc. And also, we have uh, developed many uh, Chinese-made equipment and also device. This is a uh, different device for single port or TATME uh, technique. And also, this, this is a Chinese-made uh, different uh, laparoscopic assisted robot arm investigation. This is a uh, uh, Chinese-made robot uh, in China from a micro port. And also, we created 2007 Great China Laparoscopic Corrector Institute uh, since 12 years and uh, we developed many uh, courses for laparoscopic corrector surgery and also we had many minimally invasive plus workshop uh, including many Chinese surgeons and the uh, foreign country. This is our uh, procedure kickoff uh, and advanced center of excellence. 
This is our talent show every year for junior surgeons to show their technique. And also, this is a very good platform for the young surgeons. So you can see the curve of number of penetration of laparoscopic surgery. This is the real area from east of China, so you can see the penetration of laparoscopic surgery. Uh, our program is accredited by Royal College of Surgeons, uh, our great channel of uh, corrective surgeon. So this is our uh, meeting, participating in the World Congress. And this is our ERSA meeting 2007 and the World Congress. And in this uh, World Congress, we have uh, another meeting, annual East Midwest from uh, United States, from uh, Japan, Korea, uh, with different in the, we cooperate in the clinical trial and also innovation in different techniques. I think uh, we, uh, next time we can have uh, some uh, uh, joint symposium with uh, Korean surgeons. And also we have Asia Pacific Endoscopic Corrector Summit. We discuss the different uh, uh, questions and the live surgery. And this is a uh, collaboration with the uh, East Pacific Endoscopic uh, Group with a Korean, Japanese surgeon, Australian surgeons. So this is my talk about the uh, minimally invasive surgical technique in the development and the evolution uh, corrective surgery in China. So I think uh, the future is very quite bright in the future. The perspective is quite good. We need more cooperation with uh, Korean surgeons. Thank you very much. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for the great lecture, Professor Zheng, uh, Zheng Minhua. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, the history of the Chinese Laparoscopic Society uh, started one year earlier than Korean Society of Endoscopic and Laparoscopic Surgery. Uh, and also the development of the society is very similar to our society. I'm really impressed. Uh, actually, before uh, waiting the questions from the audience, I, I'd like to ask uh, two questions to you. The first one is the 3D naked eye and 3D plus 4K system is amazing. Could you introduce that company to Korea in the future as soon as the border is open? Yeah, I think now uh, this uh, two technique, naked 3D and 3D plus uh, 4K is uh, domestic made from Chinese company. And uh, uh, I use that for several months. My impressions uh, is very good, but still some uh, for one operator only, not for assistant. Uh, Secondly, the cost uh, is uh, uh, quite uh, high, so ex expensive. Uh, so you, you ju just to judge the naked always uh, uh, not. Uh, there's so, uh, two companies. Uh, quite, I, I think we can send you uh, next time in your Congress as a sponsor. I think it's very easy. So we should think up about uh, if the COVID-19 is passed, maybe we uh, have a meeting in online or offline, so we can have some sponsor to to your Congress or in Chinese uh, Congress. But I think yeah. it's uh, yeah development of technology now is uh, Chinese made, especially for 3D 4K, uh, quite cheaper, only 50% of the uh, price of other companies, so important. Oh. Yeah. That's amazing. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the second question, yeah, you 
uh, talk about the current status of robotic surgery in China and then okay. how much uh, is the cost difference between the robotic surgery and laparoscopic surgery? For example, the raw anterior resection. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, now uh, robotic surgery now already is 10 years, more than 10 years in China. Uh, actually, uh, around uh, 180 uh, uh, robotic uh, uh, system in China. Mostly in urology surgical surgery and the pancreatic surgery, and also for colorectal because uh, relatively easy. Uh, in my hospital, we have two. We have two robotic system. The robotic uh, surgery for colorectal surgery only about uh, 10, 10 to fifteen uh, percent, uh, because there are no uh, difference or. Uh, opening time is longer for robotic surgery. The cost is longer. The complication may be similar or more similar because in the learning curve. So the cost in my hospital are around the, about five uh, five thousand US dollar extra pay by nice. patient. Yeah, extra. Uh, mm. But you can save the money using coke using uh, uh not using so much stapler you just using a suture maybe save money but normally five thousand us dollar extra more but as a country much more maybe ten thousand uh, us dollar extra pay by patients so it's uh, uh, the most uh, prob uh, the, the problem now in china so developing the Da Vinci system now growing very fast be, uh, because the, our government try to control the uh, growth of the robotics uh, system because it cost so much. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, now it's a current status in, in China. So in my department, only 10%. Yeah, actually, uh, it's very similar in Korea as well. The robotic penetration uh, in colorectal surgery in Korea is about uh, around 10% of the whole colorectal surgery. So mm -hmm. most of the robotic surgery in Korea is concentrated on the very low-lying rectal cancer. Mm -hmm. So we apply robotic surgery more and more for the low rectal cancer. So the, in Korea, Trans NR TME is not that popular. So what about uh, in China? Is that uh, uh, last two years uh, very popular? Just as you mentioned, uh, Professor mm -hmm. Yao and Zhang Zhong Tao, they right. uh, I told them the last time in uh, your meeting, I met the uh, Bong Zhou from Holland. So mm -hmm. they uh, let us uh, participate in join the, their uh, Color Street uh, program. So in China, uh, suddenly uh, the number of uh, patients TTME grows very fast. Last of two years, mm -hmm. but now still slowly, slowly because uh, I think the complication rate, especially uh, anatomy liquid rate, very high, and uh, also learning curve. I think for extra low dissection of the rectum using robot or using uh, traditional laparoscopy now is. Uh, not a big issue. So I think it's very, the three methods are very competitive. So, but for laparoscopic techniques, it's much easier, much easier, uh, low complication rate. So I, my, my feeling is also, I also joined this program, but still only 20 cases until I now. But, uh. Yeah, I totally agree with you. So even though the new technology came to us, we just do not perform all the technology together. What about in, in uh, Korea for TATME? What, what's your impression of uh, single actually, port? Yeah, actually, I'm the pioneer of the TATME mm -hmm. uh, in Korea, but I'm very skeptical about the technology because uh, right now the Korean government uh, do not 
uh, have uh, do not uh, cover the insurance for the TATME procedure. Recently, they uh, agreed to pay for the TATME. However, not that popular like a uh, uh, Chinese Yao group. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Actually, thank time, you. Yeah, time is up, so I'd okay. like to close this session. I really hope to see you very in the near future, face to face. Okay. So, thank uh, you. Yeah, stay thank safe you. and healthy. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.